me and I'm about to 1v1 the number one player of Hive Skywars Asia, Savage Cabbage, or also known as <laughs> however this is to be pronounced. But wait, how did I even get here? Let's rewind and go half a year back. I was unprepared and didn't seem to understand much about Hive Skywars and definitely was not ready for that 1v1 with Cabbage. So I set up to prepare and train with the help of Taki Boy and other really good players I know. But so far, things were not looking so good. I couldn't seem to really understand the mechanics. The bows, arrows, and blocks, it all just seemed so confusing to me. This really had to change or I would not be ready for that 1v1. So I did my research, studying the moves, strategies, and small details that lead to winning. I kept on trying to learn and there were some victories, but I still found myself losing again and again. So I had to keep on going. Practice and preparation for a video like this isn't all about quantity, it just has to be quality. So I had to learn all that I could with the least amount of time spent. I continued to practice with Doki and others. Zalorn helped me out a lot too, not only to get better at Skyvers 1v1s, but also to improve at hit traits in general. And Pog Poppy also taught me some tips to help me improve. I definitely would like to thank all of them because they've been such a great help as I trained for this 1v1. And making this video has been a bit of a rough journey, as things weren't always working out so well. So please also don't forget that subscribe button. Pressing it will really help me reach my goal of 5,000 subscribers. Little by little, I was improving. I was winning a lot more often than before, but I still did not know if I would stand a chance against my ultimate opponent, Savage Cabbage. One day, I was looking at Cabbage's videos and something caught my eye. In his video, he was beating Ducky Boy, who I couldn't even beat. So would I at least once be able to beat Cabbage? At this point, it would just be easy to quit and make a simpler video. But I knew that I shouldn't quit. And that even if I didn't win against Cabbage, I could at least make this video still for you. And maybe even teach you a few things I learned along the way. So I kept on trying to learn more and kept on trying to improve on my video editing. It's really important to know that you shouldn't do too much of anything. Just be balanced and do the best that you can. I began to improve more and more. I was learning from my mistakes in the way I play and even edit videos and was trying to learn to do all of it much better. And finally, the day of the 1v1 came. Good games to Cabbage and thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you again in the next one.